Um, back in the spring of 1973, um, I was a junior at Albright College, and uh, a few of us got together to create this uh, geodesic dome right in the center of campus in front of the library. Um, it was a, a group project of about five of us, and we uh, built this 19 foot across a uh, dome out of two by fours that we ripped and skinned with um, polyethylene plastic, six mil or so. Um, it was designed to be a temporary structure. Let's take a look at another slide here. Um, and it was up for about a month or so. Uh, classes were held uh, sometimes in it, sometimes around it. Um, but a couple of weeks before graduation, we did pull it back down. Uh, here's my best friend Roger from my undergraduate days, and Costa, who was another art student. Okay, so let's uh, let's see about recreating this two-frequency geodesic dome in Blender. So um, here's a version I just created, um, um, and I, I pulled down the the height of it a little bit, so it gave it more floor area relative to the vertical volume of it. Thinking of this more of as a um, probably 12 feet to the peak here, rather than nine, I think it was 15 or 18 feet to the peak on the last dome. So. Okay, let's get started. And let's see here. Let me uh, go File New and reload the startup file. And here's the default startup uh, for Blender. And let's hit the X key and delete the cube. And then you can, uh, for a shortcut, hit Shift A or come over to the left tab that says Create and put in an ICO sphere, which is the icosahedron sphere, um, which is the basis of uh, geodesic architecture. And we want to subdivide it an extra time. So down here on the left, it, where it says Add ICO sphere, click number three. Okay, and that just took each triangle and subdivided it into two triangles. And OK, so zooming in by pulling on, uh, pushing the middle mouse button and clicking on here into edit mode or hit the tab key and hit number one and number five on your number keypad to give us a front orthographic view and then hit the letter A to deselect everything. And so it's easiest to select all these vertices through to the back. Hit the letter Z to turn it into wireframe mode. And then use the box select tool by hitting B and clicking and dragging around this bottom series of vertices. And now hit the X key again and delete vertices. Okay. Great. So now come back into object mode either by hitting the tab key or just by clicking on it here. And we can also go back to solid view right here. Okay. Now a really nice, uh, might as well put in a base for this right now um, since we'll be doing it anyway, uh, since we're set up perfectly to do this. So I'm going to add a plane up in the upper left here, or the shortcut is Shift A, plane. And here's the plane, but we want it to be huge, so I'm going to scale it. So I'm going to hit S and 100, make it very big. Enter after that. Um, okay, so here we have our dome on a plane. Um, so let's modify this dome um, by right-clicking on it to select it. Notice the orange outline. And I'm taking over to the right to the wrench here. And that's our modifier icon. Click Add Modifier and Array. Um, I'm sorry, Wireframe right here at the bottom. The Wireframe. And let's take the thickness up to 0.028 or something like that. 
Good. Now what we want to do is also retain the original faces to turn that into a second material. So I'm going to unclick over here on the right, replace original, and I'm also going to put material offset to one. So it's going to create two materials, one for the frame and one for the glass. <clears throat> I'll hit apply. And so let's go into the materials. And I'm going to up at the top here uh, at this point before I get too far, turn Blender Render into Cycles Render. And now I can hit New Material. And Material 1 will be the frame material. Um, I'm going to leave it diffuse for now. Um, and let me hit the plus button here to add a second material. And call that new glass right here. And if you click on the color, that's where I, I changed it to a golden like color here. Just adding a little yellow to it. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so now we've got basically our, our structure set up and we have our material set up. So the final part of this, oh, let's set up the materials for the plane. So I'm going to right click the plane. It's so big you can't see the outline of it. And since we're in materials, click new. And instead of diffuse, so for a nice cool look, we could make it glossy and darken it down um, right here to make it nice and rich looking. And Great. Now when I hit number zero, this is what we'll see through the camera. And um, we can't navigate without locking the camera to the viewport. So I'm going to hit the letter N to bring up this menu and click lock camera to view and then hit N to get rid of that. And now I, when I click and drag around I can orbit and zoom and set up the scale of this, I mean the uh, the view of this that I want. Oh, on this dome, I left it tall. Hmm. So I could scale that down if I want. Let me right click on it, hit S and the letter Z for vertical scaling and just bring that down a little bit. Okay. And then left click to set it. <clears throat> okay, last thing to do is to set up our lighting. So if you come up here on the upper right and I click on the lamp, let's set it up to be sun, a sun lamp, and bring the size up to one instead of one tenth. So enter one and click use nodes now to set up the color and strength of the light. We'll keep it white for now. And for the strength I'm going to start out with 10 and we'll see how that previews. So let's preview this before we start to get into rendering it. So next to object mode in the lower left here, I'm going to click from solid to rendered and take a peek at that. And so far that's too bright. So let's take the strength down to uh, four, enter. Um, that's looking better. Okay couple of things I'm noticing. Uh, I want to reduce the uh, glossiness of the, the base this is on so that diff diffuses a little bit. <clears throat> and I'm not seeing the glass show up as a separate material. So let me pause it here for a second. Okay. Um, I have my materials uh, assigned that the material one is actually the glass faces and material two um, I have as diffuse BSDF and with a white color. Um, okay. And then the plane for the, that it's all sitting on is uh, glossy and I brought the color a little darker and set a little roughness into it so it wouldn't be perfectly reflective. 
Um, the last thing we need to set up is the light source. So I'm going to click on lamp here and I want to right up in here click lamp and click sun and for the size make it 1 enter and click use nodes and bring the strength up let's start with um, 6 and see where we're at I'm going to come over here next to object mode and click rendered and see how we're doing um, okay if I want to reduce some of the glossiness of the glass so it's kind of a little more diffuse here um, let me bring this back to solid go back into materials of the icosahedron, icosahedron right here icosphere and go into material one and click up the roughness just a little bit here Let's see how 0.25 renders, so I'll look at that. And I can just, on the fly, dial this up until I see it's kind of a little more diffuse here. So, uh, that's 0.479, let's come back a little bit. Anywhere in there is good. Um, you're the artist, so you decide. Okay, um, the light is looking pretty good. Um, the amount of diffusion on the base is good. Uh, we've got our two materials set up, uh, so we're really ready to render this thing. So I'm going to come over to the camera, which is the render menu, and I'm going to change the orientation of this from HD by dialing down the x-axis maybe to 1500 and dialing up the y-axis to get a little more rectangular shape here. And then I hit numpad 0 uh, to see the camera view and hit the letter N on your keyboard. Make sure that you've locked the camera to view right. And now I'm going to zoom in Oops, with my... Um, I'm going to hit the... let's see go back to solid view for a second hit zero um, it's a little easier to see what you're doing and then come in and adjust your frame where you want it all right I have to scale this down also a little bit so I'm hitting letter S oops letter S and Z so I pull it down a little this way okay panning over a little bit and great now setting up the render menu clicking on the camera I've set the X and Y resolutions in here I'm going to take this size up to 100% instead of 50% and down here under sampling on the right put your render amount up to 200 at least or 250 250 um, and if you have a decent graphics unit, a graphics processor in your computer, set this to GPU compute. It'll go much faster. Lastly, <clears throat> because of the glass in here and the glossy surface, we want to get rid of some noise. So on the second layers tab, I'm clicking down here to denoising. And now when I hit F12, it'll start to render. Let me pause the video here. Okay, that took uh, 2 minutes, 18 seconds to render. Um, and um, let's just see, pull out a little bit and see how it's looking. Um, pretty good. Uh, the, the world in the background is a little dull. That's a gray color. I could have adjusted that. And I'm going to do one more render, uh, opening up the glass a little bit. So I'm going to reduce the roughness on it. So let me pause it here and fix the world, and we'll come back to you. Actually, yeah, I just clicked World here, and see the roughness is 0.39 here. So let me dial this back maybe to 0.08 and start the render all over again. Um, but here's how I change the world, this right here. Click that, and see it's kind of this mousy gray, so let's take it to solid black for drama. And, okay, hit F12, and off we go. I'm going to pause it again. 
One other quick thing I realized, um, instead of it being a diffuse material, why don't we turn it into glass that we can actually see through. And so instead of, on the materials here, um, for the glass panels, instead of glossy, let's just choose glass. And let me hit F12 again and see what's going on with that now. Pause it. Okay, I actually like the first version better. Um, I reduced, I turned it to glass instead of glossy, and just the parts of the glass with a little bit of roughness added that are actually facing the light source uh, are showing up here. And so I, I think glossy works better for me. Okay, that's it for this project, and see you later.